Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome once again back to uh, one of my videos. This is XF Stef right here and um, well this time as the title says this video is uh, really not that much game related although I did want to make this video initially with a uh, with me playing a video in the background and just talking uh, about Acta uh, itself and, and um, these how the, the these points that I'm trying to make right now. Um, now everybody is you know everybody that cares and has heard of uh, about this and um, everybody just is just trying to give examples of and analogies of how Acta uh, is actually going to work if it is uh, voted uh, in in June in in EU for example. Uh, because I know that it, it has already been adapt, uh, adopted in, in other uh, lands like Japan and I think also the USA. I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not that keen on the details themselves. Uh, this video is not about the details. I'm not going to take this from a uh, um, legal point of view. And it's it's like I don't want to treat this uh, like every other single uh, video uh, on the internet regarding actor. Also the ones from Anonymous. They are very inspiring and uh, very well done uh, <coughs> and I have checked the details of these uh, of, of this law and I can I can tell you that from what I can tell um, uh, those conclusions are not uh, fake the con conclusions that uh, anonymous took now I'm going to be uh, apologizing for my bad English and even uh, my accent or my, my poor grammar skills whatever I'm doing this on the fly the main point is we have to um, realize that there are the big picture. We have to look at the uh, at the big picture when it comes to ACTA. What this is again? I've actually set these uh, six objectives right here. These uh, six points. Uh, the first one would be who are the people making supporting ACTA? I mean, who uh, who are these guys? You know, they are people just like us. Uh, they went to school, they shop every day, or actually they don't shop because they are probably uh, infinitely richer than, than we are uh, from a math mathematical point of view. Um, who are these guys um, and why are they supporting ACTA? Then we will have to discuss who decides if ACTA should, be, should become a law from the EU stand, of, uh, stand from, from the European Parliament view. I mean, who are the guys in the parliament? Uh, have they been trained to uh, actually decide um, such important uh, laws regarding the internet or not? Um, are they aware of all of the, de the details? Uh, do they know what this uh, law could actually potentially mean uh, in the history of humankind? I'm not, I'm not talking about fucking pirating, uh, you know, downloading a song and going to jail because you freaking got something from Lady Gaga or I, I don't know what other crappy song or movie or whatever the shit it would could be. I'm not talking about you personally, I'm talking about the whole freaking history of our civilization. Um, and I will explain why, why, I'm, uh, why, I'm, tell, uh, why I'm saying this. Uh, the third point would be what are the effects? Uh, is there a power transfer? Are there loopholes in this in this law? or in this potential law, um, could people uh, use it to um, impose tyranny or censorship and stuff like this? Uh, and this point has been dis discussed by most of the videos and I think you already know the, the answers to, uh, to this point. Let's just go further. At who is ACTA directed? Which people? Who are these people? I mean, um, this is going to be a law that, you know, generally a law regards everybody. So basically it, it the answer is pretty obvious it, it, it is regarding everybody but uh they cannot jail everybody i mean um i just went to the pirate bay and and uh i think there were like 30 million cedars i mean 30 million cedars could you possibly imagine trying to uh put 30 million people in jail just over the night like that i mean they cannot do that i it, there would be mass riots and even uh, violent conflicts that governments cannot um, handle, uh, especially at this point, uh, because of the economic crisis going around. Especially, uh, at least in in the in the in the first and second world countries, 
because the third world countries, you know, they are also affected, but it's they are already in such a bad position that um, uh, governments over there should not have to worry about such things. Good. Th the next one would be analogies, history, information transfer, and its role. Um, and this point would be me going a bit deeper into what happened um, in hi in our history as a, as a civilization. Uh, what is democracy? What is uh, freedom of speech? Speech. Um, how important is uh, the role of information transfer for us, for the humankind? And then there will be some conclusions. Good. Let's just go ahead and I'll just use Google uh, to research all of these facts. Uh, you can try and res research them themselves. I, I will do it live. You will you will see that I'm actually doing this live. Uh, good. Who are the people making ACTA supporting ACTA? Let's just see if we can come to a conclusion. Um, who is making ACTA? Okay, so obviously International IP Law Making ACTA is a new dream by Kimberly. Okay, um Margin Malta signed last, last week. So this is going obviously this is going to going to take a bit of uh, of time and if you do not have the time or if I already bored you to death then pff, I'm sorry for that, but uh, I feel like we need to go into a bit of the uh, a bit of the details about this whole stuff. Let's just act as open people would destroy the Spartan daily. Okay, who? Um, let's just go ahead and, and read something from from blogs. An unseen treaty. Border measures. Um, style, scope of the more border measures. Okay, so obviously, I don't think that we can come to a uh, definite conclusion, you know, I, I cannot start pointing fingers at people, and that is not the scope of this video, um, or, of the, or of the point that I'm trying to make. Um, it doesn't matter who the exact person is that is actually uh, supporting or writing the ACTA right now, who is... Well, let's just go ahead and see who is supporting ACTA. Signing participants, and this would actually be Office of the United States Trades Representative. Mm -hmm -hmm. Property rights. I think we'll just only find the, l the lands over here. Okay, so uh, participants in the negotiations. Negotiation. Australia, Canada, the EU. Um, Japan, Korea, Mexico, Morocco, New Zealand, Singapore, Switzerland, and of course the USA. Well, anyway, um, the main thing is that the politicians and the governors and you know the official representatives, which were democratically elected, are actually discussing this law. But who came up with it? I highly doubt that the governments themselves just woke up one day and said, well, you know what, there are a lot of people pirating shit on the internet, you know, movies and, um, I don't know, music and whatever, books, I don't give a damn that much. And, uh, well, you know, these, you know, these, these humble com corporations, wi which, you know, you know, they're, uh, some of them, they're richer than small countries. These humble and very humane corporations are actually losing some money, let's just say pff, a couple of tens of millions of dollars. Uh, and when I say a couple of tens of millions of dollars, like 10, 20 millions of dollars a, a year, you have to take into consideration the fact that the total budgets of some of the richest, biggest corporations exceed billions of dollars per year. So, um, yeah, I think that's just that's basically pocket money for those people. But let's just get back at, at, at the point that I was trying to make. So these governments um, were actually, you know, just standing idly by. They didn't have anything uh, uh, else to think about, you know, like pollution and uh, the environment and uh, famine in Africa and the fucking global economy, which is fucking going down like never before. And, you know, pff, other civil rights that need to be worked upon, minorities, 
you know, there are sh a shitload of problems that our world faces, e and yet our governments come up with the idea, hey, let's just make an um, trading agreement that actually um, gives a lot of power to privately held corporations, banks, uh, organizations, and other such. Uh, well, also the governments, because the governments would be acting in the name of those corporations and such. But it's still transferring a lot of power. And now I I'm starting to mix my, my ideas up in my head. And, and, and it's really it's really bad because I don't want to confuse you any 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 more than, than people are already confused. The main point is that governments just idly, they were just idly watching uh, this whole piracy thing go down. And they said, well, let's, uh, let's start fighting, uh, fight piracy. Although the act itself that they are trying to make right now, the law itself, is highly aggressive against everybody it's 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 not that specific it's not like because there were already you know uh it's not like everybody was allowed to to pirate uh nowadays you know like before this 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 act this uh lo new law that they're trying to make it's not like the world was perfect or totally unperfect and uh and there were no methods of dealing with piracy and such there were methods highly inefficient uh inefficient um I will I uh, I will admit it, uh, but it's not the punishment which needs to be improved, or um, the trap, you know, how how you you trap the the villains the the bad guys. It's not the traps that need to be improved, um, and the punishments. Uh, it is the way that you do your business that needs to be improved, because obviously the internet has spawned um, a world revolution when it comes to information sharing creativity um, I don't know ideas uh, cultural exchanges everything everything that makes us human is now the internet it's and you cannot deny that um, because I don't know if I, I'm just going to go to the next point and maybe I should um let's just okay let's just let me just go to the next point because obviously who the people that are making supporting acta is decided officially it is the government with um you know discussing the law itself with uh representatives of privately held and owned corporations or banks or whatever uh, i don't care that much i don't want to know their names i don't want i don't care if they have families kids or anything else it's it's not the person itself that matters it's not you know uh, well obviously if you're an asshole that works for these guys and you go to work doing this shit every day uh, then I feel pity for you personally because you are basically tr uh, um, threatening and um, you're just a very violent member of our, of, of our community who doesn't want to play by our rules you want to play by your own rules very egoistic and, and egocentrical person uh, in my opinion um, but the, the the main organizations behind these laws are actually the corporations which hold a lot of copyrights and stuff um, at this point in in, in our history um, and the another point that needs to be to make to be made when it comes to these people is the fact that we need not forget corporations I are privately held and run organizations companies, corporations, banks, whatever, privately held and ran. That means that a couple of people, uh, maybe even less than you have fingers on your hand, if you still have your fingers, uh, <laughs> just a couple of people get to decide who lives, so to say, uh, not literally, but who lives and who dies, maybe, maybe, wait, wait, maybe even literally sometimes. Uh, a couple of people have huge amounts of power which they just have they just either inherit or they just grow to, to to have this power nobody voted them in in that position nobody said okay you get to tell me what to do no they are they are themselves um, corporations companies are not democracies we, we need to understand this because it is very important um, it is very important to the to the next points that I'm going to make. Privately held op operations, organizations, companies, etc., 
are not democracies. They act within the laws of democracies, but within their, all, their, their own structural organization, they are not democracies. You do not have a right to your own opinion because you cannot go and tell your boss that he's a lying, cheating bastard that just wants to make a profit and doesn't give a shit about the people that he's uh, um, hurting. You know, if you do that, you're obviously going to uh, be get fired, which is almost, uh, this, you know, that's the same thing as being um, sentenced and, and ex executed in the real, in a real demi democracy. democracy. <coughs> Good. Okay, so we got this point down. Uh, the fact that the people who initiated and are probably supporting and lobbying, uh, you know, in, in third world countries, um, lobbying is called, um, you know, um, paying paying somebody, you know, just giving him money, um, bribing. Lobbying is bribing in third world countries. In first world countries, um, people actually invented a, a new name for it. You can actually study this shit. You can go and study how to be a lobbyist, uh, which basically means um, how to bribe people. Uh, you know, it's n it's not a hundred percent accurate uh, um, example, or or um, how should I say this? Maybe it's not one hundred percent accurate, but lobbying is, in my eyes, and in in my opinion, uh, basically uh, a a much sophisticated form of bribing uh, official governors and um, officials and you know people that were actually um, democratically elected by by the by the people good so these are the companies let's just let me just go to the next point because uh, this was a this was kind of a big point uh, who decides if acta should become a law this is a very good point because who are these these guys basically in Europe it's going to be the uh, European Parliament uh, let me just go ahead and start with average age of you parliament um bulgarian mip second youngest in european parliament let's just say and let's just see okay so this is an official i don't know newspaper or something i don't care so they they're saying that with an average age of a little over 47 bulgaria's present 18 deputies are the second youngest in the European Parliament. The top position is held by the uh, Malta, an average age of 45. The study points with Bulgaria, Romania, 2007, younger European Parliament. Blah, blah, blah. So it, it's about 50, um, because this was done like in 2007 or something like that. Let's just say 50. The average age of the European, uh, um, what's there, what's his name? know my English pretty much sucks but um, the guy that you know sits on uh, sits on a chair and votes on on laws you know he, he raises his hand or he pushes the button uh, it's that simple uh, <laughs> his average age is 50 hmm let me see um 19, 1990 the internet starts kicking off in 90 94 95 something like that uh, so the, the internet is more or less 15 up to 20 years old. Uh, well, these guys are 50. And you have to understand the fact that... Um, you have to understand that the f um, they, they learned, you know, they, they, went to, they went through school. They graduated uh, high school and, and, and got their um, diplomas. Then they went to college. They spent in college what like five six years. Uh, I think that the average studying uh, time uh, in the nineties was or in the eighties was a lot smaller than it is nowadays. Um, so all in all, I think that when the internet first started coming out, these guys were already politicians. They were already working uh, either in politics or in uh, law domains or whatever. They were already um, they had they had already graduated. They were already built as people, you know, from mentality and uh, 
the personalities were were in place um they were raised some of them maybe a lot of them during the communist times think about this uh the people the, who who are now voting who will who will be now voting for this law um were raised and maybe a lot of them even graduated um from from college during the communist times it doesn't matter if it if, if the co if the communism was uh um prohibited or or um present in their country uh the times were a lot different um so what i'm saying i'm not trying to make them idiots i'm not trying to make them stupid i'm just saying that maybe they are not may just maybe but of course it's a definite yes uh th they are not trained uh both um psychically and and intellectually to handle such a law they have no idea how the internet works why it is here why it, it has been so important um to our society as a whole in the past 15 years and um maybe i'm just going to go on a on a limb here and uh, make an, absu an uh, assumption that these guys don't care how the internet works and they don't care if um people lose their jobs they if people lose their creativity if people lose their goddamn democratic rights to uh privacy to uh freedom of speech they actually don't care they also get a couple of um you know a couple of b bonuses boosts from all the lobbying that's going around uh, because this happens uh, don't go around bullshitting me i mean i i am romanian and i know that uh, bribing and corruption is a very big problem in in my country but you cannot go around and bullshit me that germany austria uh, switzerland even england doesn't have corruption problems it is there it, it's not it's not so upfront as it uh, as it is in bulgaria or or um the ex yugoslavian countries or romania or russia it's not that upfront but they are there there are people lobbying there are people um making profits off of politicians it happens good so uh now we know who the people that will be voting on the the law are and um well yeah let's, let me just um let me just Right here, 50 year old ex Kami. Um, yeah, Kami's. Let me put just Kami's right there. And um, I don't care if they really were pro or against the communist regime going through those, those, those times because I see it in my parents and I see it in a lot of older people, um, second or third, uh, you know, uh, age group age people um although they you did not support the communism a lot of its parts and problems stuck to your brain um a lot of its methods stuck to your brain and it's really hard to actually shake all of that bitterness and um and savagery because communism was pretty savage when when you have to think about it um off Good. Let's just go ahead and uh, get to the next point because I'm really dragging off and uh, you guys are certainly dozing off right now. There are effects um, to this law. There are power transfers and there are, of course, loopholes. The main effects, and they have been spoken at... Um, let me just write these down. Effects. Um, loss of freedom of speech and creativity because we all know that corporations and companies own a lot of crap <laughs> there are there, there are freaking sentences words uh that they are that are owned with a um what's it called copyright which i find retarded in the first place um and i will uh, i will actually talk about this right now or actually yeah I will talk about this right now, or make sh actually making my my next point, uh, why ha having copyright over a uh, script or a um, word sentence is retarded. I mean, it, it's something else when it comes to a f freaking car. You know, 
you develop you're you're a car developer you're a car manufacturer and you develop a, a system that is superior to everybody else's and it is freaking genius um you obviously want to have some rights over that because uh well there were some costs in it um the people behind it deserve it because not everybody gets a freaking um uh, noble price and um well you are entitled to that creativity and you should you know get some something out of it uh if not at least the the love and the appreciations uh, appreciation of your um of your peers but when it comes to movies songs uh books I even sentences or words having copyright on them is basically bullshit and even Paulo Coelho which you know he's he's not one of the the biggest you know the, the greatest he his he has sold a lot of a lot of books and he has made a, a lot of money out of this out of this so-called industry of copywriting uh ideas um literal literature ideas um even even he is against acta and sopa and all that bullshit because uh he admits that you cannot limit the freedom of one's mind um think about it you you're you're in kindergarten or in i don't know middle school and you learn a, a poem or you 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 have to research a certain book and some of that you know remains in your mind it wasn't created by you initially but that does not mean that you're you're trying to steal that information you cannot steal speech you cannot steal ideas creativity um this is what defines us as human being beings and that's why uh, i'm trying to get back to one of my next points which is analogy is history information transfer and its role because they are correlated heavily correlated um the the uh, the breakthrough in our uh history the breakthroughs in our history you know li like like the discovery of the wheel or of fire of cooking of um making um stencils and so on um the guy that discovered the wheel he he wasn't a fucking genius the guy that told someone else or maybe the same one the one that explained and showed somebody else how to make a fucking wheel that was genius information transfer that is our that is what defines us as human beings um you know you can look at a, a chimp or an ape and you can say well they're pretty similar to us genetically also i don't know 98% uh, accurate uh, or um almost the same as human beings uh well the obvious differences are that they they throw poop at each other and uh they don't like you know they don't like working they ju they're just or or they're not but the the main thing the main point is that chimps apes cannot communicate uh in such a manner that they can actually um save that data the that creativity and then uh read it or use it again learn it unlearn it uh and transfer it to other generations and other, other individuals this is what makes us humans um not not humans I, it's what makes us intelligent this is what this is the, the backbone of our of us as as uh, human beings and once somebody comes along and says well you're not allowed to say that anymore because i have copyright on it and i know l let's just get a random word let's just say orc everybody knows an orc you know it's that mythical creature or whatever it's not mythical it doesn't matter um it's um it's a creature that you know uh, can have certain attributes usually it's a it's a it's uh you know like a green pig headed or something kind of a human let's just let's just say that you are a um game developer or even a blogger and you want to develop something that contains the word orc or the character orc or the concept of a, an uh, an imaginary being of an orc um and the company that owns the copyright to that comes along and says wait one second this is copyright infringement you are a pirate you are pirating my 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 uh my ideas and my uh creativity 
and um, there are two things that can happen uh, either they they want money for it you have to pay them in order in, in order for you to use it or they just shut you down with the power of this law good so the effects are that everybody loses or may potentially lose his uh, right to say what he wants and in which manner and oppose people or like people or make reviews. I, I myself, I am a game reviewer at heart. Uh, I'm studying to become a game developer and um, this this law would actually cut both my legs and my uh, arms, so to say, you know, not liter literary, literary rary yeah I'm sorry of course not a Eng uh, native english speaker i am trying to do my best here and i've run out of breath but this 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 is a big deal for me this this is this is a make or break deal for me uh f not only for me but for my life for my potential future um uh, wife or children or whatever uh, this this could mean that this could be the difference between being uh uh an indie developer that actually makes some money uh, and does this more as a hobby and can also live off of his hobby and you know gives back to the community and to to the whole gaming industry gives something worthwhile and isn't only preoccupied by getting the the, the highest profit or always like most uh, of the biggest the, the bigger companies are nowadays their excuse being of course that they need money to make games which is also true but I'm not going to go into um, um, a monetary uh, situation right now because that, that would take me an, uh, another hour or so uh, <laughs> or even more good so um, this this law would basically um, make me hand handicapped uh, if, if you take away my my creativity and my freedom of speech you make me handicapped you make me a uh, mindless robot or drone or peon whatever you like in in the society in our current society um, good this is one effect the other effect is the fact that you also lose your um, uh, your freedom to um, privacy because they will be watching you they are watching you right now I mean everybody w all, all of the governments or not all but most most of the world's go governments have been watching the internet uh, you would you would probably uh, kid yourself. Well, maybe not the governments, but uh, the the ISPs or some corporations or you know Facebook. Facebook is freaking watching you. That that's what Facebook is doing, because you give your life openly to Facebook. But um, Facebook itself is a company that makes money out of that life of yours. Um, good, but I'm okay with it because until now there was no legal mean of actually um, prosecuting you for what you do because they are watching you and your privacy is worth shit to, uh, to them and you know they know everything you do all the porn sites you visit and of course you visit porn sites you're a freaking human being um, also not important I shouldn't go into that subject um, but until now, they had no legal means of actually prosecuting you, of actually uh, telling you, hey, what you're doing is wrong, you need to stop. Um, this is basically a uh, racketeering way of, of pacifying human beings. You know, it's just like in the gangster uh, movies where people come in where you know they have big guns and they say behave yourself and pay us or you may not have a store the next day this is this is the exactly what's happening right now okay and the power transfer this is also important what happens in the power transfer is the fact that um, governments actually transfer a lot of uh, their democratically elected power you know given power to them by the people to the makers and the supporters of ACTA, the corporations, the banks, the companies, um, basically everybody that has enough um, monetary power to push people around. And um, that scares the living shit out of, out of me because, once again, I come to the first point, point that I made. 
uh, the most important one, those companies are not democratically um, elected or, or, or um, managed. Those are people. So you basically take away freedoms and, and um, power from the people and you give it through means of the corrupt, let, let me say corrupt governments, to the corporations. Because nowadays politicians face, uh, or uh, up until now, they have faced no real threats to um, <coughs> society and how society works. Uh, politicians have just been lazily uh, sitting on their asses and only contemplating stuff like global warming or <coughs> the wars in Iraq and I maybe, no, okay, there's no war, war in Iran, but maybe a possible war in Iran or other conflicts or overpopulation or, you know, stuff that is also important but not as important as what makes us humans. Good. So the... So we know we don't all uh, only you um, okay I'll just take a sip of water right now because I'm really out of breath <coughs> Okay so let's just get back we don't only uh, lose our freedom of speech and our privacy uh, but we also give a lot of our power as a whole as a society to certain individuals which comes to look hell of a like um, the medieval kings and queens and the monarchies and you know slowly corporations and companies are becoming tyrants this is the, um, try, try to view the, the logic behind this <coughs> good there are of course loopholes which uh, will also contribute negatively um, even let's say, if, if, let's just say that piracy was so high and loss of revenue was so high that the industry was uh, losing a lot of money, people w were losing their jobs, or were getting paid less because of piracy. Let's just say that all of that is true and it happens. Uh, and ACTA is actually a good thing and once we have adopted ACTA, what makes you think that there, are, there aren't any loopholes? that the same people, you know, the same companies will use to uh, actually <coughs> do illegal stuff and actually get more money out of it because this is all that they care, you know, the people that <coughs> run these companies and the cr these corporations and the, these banks, they're not like us, they do not go shopping, uh, you know, they don't buy eggs and, and uh, bread and, and, and milk each day they have somebody do it for them they have some uh, and somebody else check if those uh, things are are not poisoned or stuff like that and i'm not i'm not a crazy conspir uh, conspirationist or what the the fuck the word is um i'm really i'm pretty pretty sure that this happens um because they are afraid they are afraid of the people they hold a lot of power and obviously when you hold a lot of a lot of power and the people know you they know your face your family where you live they know you as a person uh, and they start hating you, then that, is, that becomes dangerous. And I'm, I'm not saying that they shouldn't be protected. I'm just saying that they're not like us. They don't, they don't think like us. They don't have the same daily challenges like us. Um, uh, I, I don't want to start whining or anything, but I don't think they plan their, their uh, grocery list one week ahead. I don't think they know exactly what they're going to eat on on uh, Monday and uh, then on Thursday and in the weekend uh, based upon their their income and how, mu how much money they have in their pockets. Uh, like I like I have to and like many more have to. I'm, I'm pretty certain of this. So um, yeah, just just think about the, fa the fact that the people that will be getting all of this power are actually at such a higher level than us that uh, to them we don't even exist. It's just like you watching ants or something. You know, it's, it's also been psychologically proven that this happens so when 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 a human being uh, has more powers over more power over a group or another human being, um, he becomes a bit of an asshole. 
um, it's it's a psychological trait of ours that that's that's the sad truth so um, yeah we won't care the profit is the only thing that these people will care about if they make a profit good uh, okay let's just go ahead into the to the next points because I've, I've really be I've really been dragging this on and uh, there's there hasn't hasn't been a lot of, of visual movement which I know is terrible on YouTube uh, because YouTube is you know, it's about making movies and not speeches and uh, if this were a uh, speech then uh, I probably stuck at it but anyway at who is actor directed which people who are those people well th the obvious la answer is us everybody even those guys that own the companies even they have to um, you know make sure that they won't cross certain lines um, but who are they really uh, directed at I mean as I mentioned when I when I made the, the introduction to the to the video um, uh, there are right now 30 million cedars on the pirate bay something about something around that number um, once this law kicks in um, technically if you had uh, downloaded in in the past as well uh, technically you could and should be sentenced um, depending on exactly what infection you have you have done I, they don't need the physical proof anymore because up until now it's it's like they need the physical proof uh, if they know that you're a if that, that that you host um, seeding servers and pirating software pirating servers um, they need to watch the the internet connections they need to get uh, some proof that uh, some of the uh, activities that you're doing are, are illegal then they need to come in with a warrant with the police in your house grab your hard drives and look at them to see if that shit really is there if you are really sharing illegal copyrighted uh, information through your server through your computer they don't need that anymore with ACTA they can just say well the ISP says that you download downloaded uh, this song from this website which puts them up illegally on I don't know February the 15th 2012 at 15 23 p.m. they don't need any physical proof that you did it they don't need to come to your house and you know see see the physical uh, copy illegal copy of that song they just have the um, um, uh, what's it called the history they just have your history and they just can you know go from there on uh, onwards to to prosecuting you and 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 such stuff and uh, I'm starting software development so I know a thing or two about networking and programming and how these things actually work they can put stuff in there that you know doesn't actually exist that you haven't actually done you know the evidence can be manufactured um, just like in any other um, I don't know crimes murders stuff like that they, they can actually manufacture evidence um, and put fake stuff ab about you and um, cause you a lot of harm, a lot of hurt. Good. Which also brings us back to the tyranny, because you know, tyranny. That they, they don't like you, you're out. Um, not how democracy is supposed to work, by the way. Good. So uh, the people that are actually um, that uh, act are actually, you know. Uh, okay, I, I'm really stuck right now. Yeah, the, the actor is directed at certain people. The guys that seed on the internet, uh, the guys that download. Even if you download, if you download a copy, which is possibly illegal, but you do not know for sure, you can be prosecuted because you will be, you know, um, you, you would be in an illegal stand standpoint, so to say. Not good. Um, something else. The people. Yes. Good. Uh, we also have to. Well, okay, I'll just skip ahead and go to the analogy history and information transfer and its role point of this discussion. It's almost been like an hour, I think. Uh, not not yet an hour, but almost an hour. Um, the first analogy that comes to mind um, regarding ACTA 
uh, as a as a law itself is what happened uh, during the prohibition time in the United States of the of America. Um, that was probably one of the stupidest one of the stupidest because the the USA has done countless stupid things in in their history, modern and uh, uh, I don't know a bit farther away history. That was one of the stupidest things that they've done. The prohibition, uh, in which it was like uh, you know like one of these nine gag posts that I've seen recently, where a boss says in the office. Um, well, I've cut Facebook access to all of the employees and all of the computers. Productivity really should increase right now. Um, and somebody, you know, does an analogy to that, and he, sa and he says, "Well, I've closed my eyes, and um, there is no cat right now in front of me. Although, if you close your eyes and the cat is still in front of you, the fucking cat is still there in front of you. Y you know, you can't you can't hide from shit. Uh, you can't just force something up upon people." like productivity or not drinking alcohol, which happened in the United States of America during the prohibition times. What happened? What was the conclusion to all of that crap? What happened directly? Illegal, the, the amount of illegal activities and the amount of murders and organized crime ra uh, rose, you know, it was a lot higher than, than usual. And that was because of the fact that when you take something from people you have to expect that those people are going to go around and do that stuff even more just because you took it from them and that's our that's our human nature uh, we don't like having things taken from us uh, you might say that's uh, childish and that usually uh, um, mature people shouldn't think like that, but it, it is freaking true. It happens all day long. We, we have to stop thinking like this, this uh, th like our lives are Hollywood movies. Uh, this, that is really misleading. Our lives are not Hollywood movies and we are not perfect. There is no right and wrong, which, you know, uh, it, uh, right and wrong, this is evil and good. This is also related to history and stuff. Um, our times, our history, have proven to us that, I don't know, and um, although it was generally okay and good to think in evil, good, right, wrong um, concepts when leading people uh, during, I don't know, the medieval times or even the ancient times, philosophers and, and uh, psychologists always knew that it's it's really not that it's really not that black or wh or white there are a lot of freaking gray shades between black and white and we need to regard this this law as well just like this this is the reason why i'm talking about it um i'm not going to say just stop acta you know like a 5 minute uh presentation and um pff, yeah this and that and it's bad and everybody join anonymous and go to the streets be aggressive, stop, act, uh, no, no, this, we have to freaking talk about this, we have to realize what this actually means, which in my opinion is a turning point in our history as a civilization, uh, because the internet has allowed hum us as a, as a race, as human beings to actually get to the point where um, our defining characteristic um, intelligence, the exchange of data, can be done much faster than uh, data is created in our minds. Uh, our brains actually create data, but we can send it, we can, we can uh, save it, send it uh, to other people, share it much, much faster than we, we could ever. And this is a turning point in uh, in a lot of st a lot of uh, from a lot of point of views, um, even when we take democracy into 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 account, uh, democracy was you know the will of the people. You had to vote. Of course, it, it isn't perfect. Nothing is perfect. There is no utopia, and there will never be a utopia. That is why this law itself is pretty much um, bullshit because it, it it acts as if. Um, what it says 
that if you adapt this law then there will be an utopia when it comes to copyright no that is bullshit that will not happen it will never happen um but be getting back to the point um information can be transferred created modified shared so freaking fast nowadays over the internet that our whole conception not not concept conception uh concept the whole concept of us as um, individuals and a group must must be worked must be improved we have to advance also uh, on a um, socio sociological on a social or and um, psychological uh, pace um, so what I'm trying to say is that in my mind as I see things things right now if we don't accept SOPA democracy itself and our social lives and society will eventually change it will evolve into another uh, type of democracy another type of um, another way of how we interact with each other and such because there w we will come at one point where um, information will be so shared uh, will be shared between everybody so fast uh, all of the greatest and newest ideas that it won't matter anymore even if you are just like my first example somebody that created uh, a, f a physical uh, invention even if you are that guy it won't matter any anymore because um, because it won't matter you would you will only be um, the guy that initiated uh, a trend or a phase in our in our society uh, not the one that will profit from it this already happens because the guys that invented the, the internet and uh, a lot of you know like like, like Linux and uh, a lot of programming languages um, these people they're not f they're not that rich they're probably a, a lot obscure than than uh, the people that use the internet like uh, music artists and and uh, and actors and um, I don't know game developers, the guys that actually made all this possible uh, are not so highly uh, are not as as highly regarded as the other ones, and this will continue on happening to a, to a point where uh, cloud computing and sharing of ideas will become worldwide uh, accepted and nobody will uh, will think anymore that um, singing listening or using information that was initially uh, created by somebody else could possibly be illegal without his con uh, con con concept no concept I think uh, no not concept anyway you probably know what I'm talking about uh, without his uh, approval okay his approval and this scares the fucking crap out of companies and corporations because this would actually lower a lot profits and their hold on their their reach and their hold on people and on society. Um, but of course, this won't happen overnight. This is going to take another of I don't know, 10, 20, 30 years maybe, if we're going into that direction, into that trend. Um, which will mean the end of uh, capitalism as we know it because already a lot of the information that is marketed and branded is digital or um, I don't know intellectual property already um, the physical property that we uh, we interact with every day think about it think about what you use physically every day um, you need food you need a shelter which you know this will always go on um you need a car and then you need the computer and with your computer you are satisfied you need not do anything else of course there are a lot of activities and stuff that you can do but you can you can live a perfectly satisfied and happy life just with the internet and your computer you can watch movies you can listen to songs you can uh develop you can help people um develop and and be creative and stuff like that but anyway, this is one. This is one of the di the possible directions in which we are headed, 
uh, it sounds a bit perfect, a, a bit utopian. Uh, I I cannot say how it will look like exactly because um, these are very very ex abstract concepts right now. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that it would mean a uh, big decrease uh, in, in, in businesses uh, when it comes to money and capitalism itself and making profits because the backbone of capitalism is to make profit. Uh, well, it's pretty hard to make profit from something that exists only in people's minds. It's pretty damn, f damn hard to do that. Um, you cannot control that yet, at least. You cannot control what goes on in, 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 a, in a human's mind. And it's pretty damn hard to do it. And, you know, corporations and the adepts, the, 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 uh, the, the fat cats, um, the corporate fat cats, are pretty fucking scared of this. Good. The other way uh, that things could be going is ACTA gets adopted, you know, by everybody. In the whole world people continue on sharing but of course a lot of problems arise uh, maybe even um, well not not that crushing but rebellions and revolts will will manifest themselves in the in the near future I'm not I'm not talking about the the distant future maybe in the distant future things will be calm but you will have to understand that the distant future will be the total opposite of uh, the other possibility uh, will be the distant future will actually be a um, capitalistic uh, total totalitarianism. It would it will be uh, the people not having any power over who and what tells them to do um, because the governments are would already be transferring a lot of power um from 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 the people to to these companies and such now i have blabbered on for for a really long time i think it's it was an hour i've got no voice anymore and uh at times i was probably really hard to understand but um don't just say stop acta and get all revolted about it because somebody that does not know what ACTA is and somebody that is a bit older, like in their 40s, 50s, 60s, they will not understand you exactly. They will just see an aggressive... Um, these are the conclusions that I'm, that I'm trying to, to make right now. They will only see this, this young, aggressive spirit which always manifests itself uh, within every generation. And they will not give you their support. They will not try to understand what ACTA is. They will just... Off the off the off the go, uh, say that well, it's something that concerns the the the, the young people, and uh, w it actually does because somebody in their sixties, you know, won't be that much affected by this whole crap. But um, they will just catalog catalogize it as not important or not worth getting physical over it. And I'm I'm not saying people should get physical over it, but I'm saying that. Don't be really aggressive. Just try to explain what the consequences would be. Uh, just try to explain these six points that I've tried to explain right now. Who are the people making supporting ACTA? Who decides if ACTA should be become a law? What is the what are those are those people um, apt? Are those people good enough, or can those people have the understanding? for such a law. Uh, then what are the effects? Um, what is the power transfer and the loopholes of ACTA? At who is ACTA directed? Which people? Who are those people? And I'm not talking about everybody. I'm talking about exact people, like small developers that try to make something but the big companies come and squish them like little bugs. I'm talking about writers that you know, young writers that they wish to put uh, put out new co uh, concepts or, or books, and the older guys just come in, uh, or or the guys that have the copyrights just come in, and then once again they step on them. I'm talking about those kind of people. Those are affected, not you. They will be watching you, and you'll probably you know like uh, if you're suspected for rape or a murder, they'll use your internet history to put you in jail until they get further. Um, uh, so that you don't run away, so that, you know, they'll probably use it in that manner, which 
is abusive but maybe sometimes helps um, but you need to figure out which people are actually actually affected by this by this law and then you need to think about the analogies in hist uh, and the history and what is information transfer and its role for us as human beings is this Im is the, the the transfer and the sharing of information of digital information important to us yes it is it is to me at least I I'm not sure about you but I don't want to be a peon that listens to the songs that uh, are given to him watches the movies that are given to him and only likes the the the, the books and and basically only likes the f the the, st the stuff that also uh, is liked by the companies the corporations and then try to make your own conclusions in your head try to um, listen to your own thoughts about this and just discuss things don't go ahead don't go and uh, don't just start protesting and 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 yelling like like you know animals stop acta and don't get physical don't get aggressive violent about it talk to people this is the biggest weapon that we have right now against what is happening thank you for watching and listening of course um please leave me your um your uh, feedback in the comments below i'll also be posting a uh, link to a website where you can um vote against you know like there's a petition you can vote against acta there are uh, 1.4 or 5 million um votes at this point or um, signed uh, signatures uh they're trying to go as high as possible uh, maybe maybe 5 even 10 million if if that is possible please go ahead and uh just sign it. it it doesn't cost you anything uh it doesn't mean that you are an anarchist like some people would say because they are trying to mislead the the masses they are trying to mislead the people and and uh trying to uh picture anonymous and other people uh, and other guys like as being anarchists uh when actually when you think about which is pretty ironic if if you consider that the the, the power uh, transfer is actually directed f away from the people and not towards the people by adapting this law so in other words anarchy would be really harder to achieve um, would be really harder to achieve um, if ACTA didn't exist because the people would have more power and they would not need to be anarchists and rage against the system good okay so thanks for watching and listening I hope you guys enjoyed this video and leave me your comments and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.